Welcome to the French Snoofy. I'm Erin McDonald. Today I'm going to be making Spanish meatloaf. This is one of our favorites here in this house and I actually had to share it with so many people, my dad, my mom, um, everyone agrees that they love it. So I wanna share my recipe with you. So of course I'm going to be using something Spanish and I have a really nice dried classic Spanish chorizo sausage. And this is already cured and cooked, but it's gonna be inside of the meatloaf. It's absolutely delicious and flavored with paprika. So that's why it has this beautiful deep red color. So I'm just gonna get some chops of that. And it's so delicious and yummy. There's different varieties of chorizo. I believe Mexican chorizo is not cooked. It comes in a raw variety, but I prefer the Spanish chorizo to each their own, of course. Now off to the side, what I've done earlier is I've just sauteed some onions and I want them to be just softened because I'm gonna add them to my meat as well. So they're off now, they're already done. So just chopping up some of the nice chorizo here and I want it to be in little cubes, not too big because again, I want it to be just a little bite of that chorizo into my meat loaf. So a little bit more. I'm not gonna use all of it. If you use too much chorizo, it becomes like chorizo um, kind of a sausage and we don't want that. I want it to be a nice meatloaf with just a little bite of that chorizo. It's a little bit more, there we go. And maybe one more piece, judging by the size of my meat packet here. Now, this is so delicious and yummy. I'm so happy that I came up with this recipe because it's really wonderful when you find something and it's a go-to. Last night, you know, Keith asked me what was for dinner yesterday. And of course I said, well, what would you like? And he said, Spanish meatloaf. And I said, well, you're actually in luck, but you're gonna have to wait another night because I'm filming the French Newfie and I'm gonna be making Spanish meatloaf. And this, of course, this is what we're gonna have tonight. So anything that I film on the French Newfie is usually gobbled up that evening. So Keith is in luck. As well, I have my oven and that is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I want it preheated so that way this is not gonna take too long into the oven. Before I get my hands into this mixture though, I'm gonna make a quick barbecue sauce. It's gonna be on top of my meatloaf and I call it barbecue because I actually put some barbecue sauce into it. So it's like a barbecue, kind of a ketchup, and I really enjoy mixing it up so it's not just one note of that ketchup familiar sauce. But again, this is my recipe. You can always just put ketchup if that's what you prefer. I know a lot of people do. So get a good amount of ketchup. Again, I'm just eyeballing it. And some HP sauce, which is a classic steak sauce or barbecue sauce. So get some of that down as well. I'm gonna do a little less than the ketchup because I do want more sweet than the barbecue. And because it is the Spanish meatloaf, I'm going to put a little bit of Spanish smoked paprika. Just a little bit, not too much. And last but not least, a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. There we go. Just a little bit. And give that a little mix around. And there you have a gourmet topping or a gourmet ketchup or barbecue sauce, whatever you wanna call it for your Spanish meatloaf or for mine. Okay, now I'm ready to get my hands dirty. So I'm gonna turn off my heat. There we go. And bring my meat back over. I have some nice lean ground beef. And I enjoy using the lean because the chorizo has some fatty bits in there. And I just like the leaner to keep it a little bit lighter because it is quite heavy. It is a meat loaf. So I'm gonna get all this beautiful smoked chorizo into my meat, just like that. And this is kind of, it looks like I have a lot going on and I actually do have a lot going on, but it's great because meat loaf just goes into the oven and then you're good to go. So some breadcrumbs, because I do like to have a little breadcrumbs for a binder. Uh, meatloaf is quite compact. I have about a half a cup of breadcrumbs going into this. And I'm going to add an egg, and I like to add an egg as well. It's a nice binder, it'll keep everything nice and tight. So just crack that off to the side. There we go. 
go, put that in, perfect. You need to go in with some salt and pepper. And I'm not gonna use too much salt because I'm gonna be putting Worcestershire sauce in this as well. And chorizo is also spice, salty. So I have about a teaspoon and a half and I'm gonna go in with around one teaspoon of black cracked pepper. Perfect. Now, one other thing that I wanna put into my meatloaf is some nice parsley. And I always enjoy adding a nice herb. So I'm just gonna get some nice flat leaf Italian parsley, a good bit. Look at how beautiful this parsley is. It's organic parsley that I found in the market. So I'm not gonna, I'm absolutely not gonna waste any of these stems. This is gonna be great to flavor a broth or soup. So let me just chop this up. I'm gonna give it a nice rough chop. I like to see a little bit of green through my Spanish meatloaf. You have the sausage and you have the ground beef, so it's kind of nice to see a little green pop in there. So just chop that up like that, perfect. So off to the side, I'm gonna bring my bowl back and then I'm gonna get messy. So parsley in, just like that. And those beautiful onions that are sauteed, sauteed earlier off to the side get that in just like that perfect get all those sauteed nice white onions Spanish onions as well get that in a couple of dashes of the Worcester sauce which I said so that's why I didn't put in too much salt so I have around 10 dashes of this stuff going in and now it is time to get messy. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna mix it all together. And another thing is to let, I let my onions uh, cool off. I didn't wanna add them too hot because then it's gonna tamper with the meat. It's gonna get the meat a little bit warm and I want everything to cook up at the same time. So just lightly go through that. You can be a little bit compact with it. I mean, it is a meat loaf, so it's supposed to be dense, not like a hamburger. And just mix it all up. Get your fingers in there. And lovely. I can smell that chorizo. I can smell the onions. It's gonna be so delicious. This is really one of our favorites here. And the great thing about meatloaf is that you usually have leftovers. <laughs> so it's great for a little snack. Now, all right, it's messy. It's gotta be that way. And now I'm gonna bring over my little loaf pan for my Spanish meatloaf. And I just wanna put some oil inside. So I have a little bit of oil off to the side here. I'm just dipping paper towel into it. And I'm gonna just wipe the edges so that way I'm not bathing it in a ton of oil at the bottom of my loaf pan. Just like that, get all the sides, perfect. And now we're gonna put our beautiful Spanish meatloaf. And what I wanna do is kinda make it into a loaf. Just make it into like a little loaf or kinda like a deflated football. Put that into my pan. My oven is going. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna get this in for around 45 minutes. I'm going to de-meat, and when we come back, I'm going to coat it with that beautiful, homemade, gourmet ketchup barbecue sauce, and we're gonna have meatloaf tonight. And so that's been going in my oven for around 45 minutes, and I've just checked it. It is showing 155, which is what you want for ground beef. So I'm gonna just get this onto a nice board, and as well, while I was waiting for that to cook up, obviously it cleaned up and demeated my fingers, but I have had my barbecue ketchup sauce going. You can see that it's nice and bubbly, and I want that as well, because I want it to be covered and cooked, and I want the paprika that I put in earlier to be inside of my Spanish meatloaf. So, let me just get it on to the board here. I want this to also come and rest a little bit longer for another 10 minutes before I cut into it. And that is so beautiful. You can see the chorizo and some of the juice and the oil from the paprika is actually, from the chorizo, is coming up to the top, so that's lovely. Now, I'm gonna get this beautiful gourmet sauce onto my meatloaf. 
and this is nice and bubbly and hot and steaming and that's just going to seep down into this beautiful Spanish meatloaf while it rests here. So just like that. Cover it really nice. Get a good slathering. I know it's one of my favorite parts. So the crusty bits on the ends of the meatloaf and of course your sauce on top. So it's going to rest for another 10 minutes. There you have a really favorite Spanish meatloaf recipe of mine. I hope that you give it a try, enjoy, and also maybe put some nice mashed potatoes or green peas. If you want to lighten it up, maybe a nice green salad would be great as well. Enjoy.